Hello, this is Jim with DC Digital. Today I'm demonstrating a couple of NEMA and also non-NEMA networked clocks and they're going to be going on a ship. And what's so unique about these clocks is that they both can pull in a relay, energize a relay or an and on light as you can see here on the smaller one and also a relay at 50 events. They could be 50 events for a week. So a seven day programmable bell schedule is what we call it. And basically you're going to set that bell schedule up on a web page that each one presents to the network. So you would go into your network on a web browser and uh, punch in the IP address of the clock that you want to have a schedule on or actually want to see and implement the scheduling of the bell or and on light or relay. And they're both just single relays or single zones, what we call it, uh, type clocks and bell scheduling. So I'm going to go into that and show you that and then also we they wanted to be able to switch between two different time zones. These so happen to be going on a ship so they will be sailing in different time zones and they need to be able to quick, quickly shift it to one time zone and another. So one of the time zones has changed to Atlantic, one has changed to Newfoundland time. And right now they're on, uh, I think, I believe Newfoundland time. Well, I'm going to go ahead and, and click uh, Atlantic time. And there is an, it's an hour ahead, so that's out in the Atlantic. And then I'm going to switch it to, as you can see here, that this is the top part of uh, portion of this specific network web page and I'll, I'll go over and change the other one here in a minute and then this is Newfoundland time and uh, it is you know 30 minutes ahead um, of the Atlantic time so they want to be able to switch it quickly on the run and um, um, make that make that adjustment the bell schedule it, both of them Will, uh, both web pages will look like this. They will have their model number here at the top and um, you know what, what, what the device name is. If you scroll down, if you scroll down the page, you see the time, the Newfoundland time, and if you go back to the Atlantic time, it'll switch back over to that and it switches on display also. So if you scroll down the uh, page, it will tell you the device name and that can be changed too. So uh, say it's in the bulkhead or the kitchen or the bedrooms or something like that. You could put this clock in. You can put that name in here. And then that's switchable up here in the um, configure. No, I'm sorry, the network settings. So the network settings uh, tab, device name, and we have the name of the card in here and also our, our uh, brand name. Username, we have username, password, password. You can set them up however you can change, you can change those and then just hit uh, change password. Same with your configuration, you would just put in the name THCP or static and then whatever the addresses are, masks and whatnot, and then hit change configuration. The uh, configuration settings though. What server is it going to that's up here at the top? Where, where do you want to get the NTP time from? They also wanted a GPS server, and we do have that where it's available on our site. And um, that w works off of the GPS satellite system, so it's not, it's independent of the network time. It supplies the NTP time on your network. And so, both of these are pointing to that server. You can point them to uh, NIST time or Google time or Microsoft and it will latch onto those and bring those times up. If you want a different time zone, 
that can be also all the time zones can be put in uh, into this time zone rule or other time zone and right now these are just preloaded uh, Atlantic Eastern Central Mountain Pacific Alaska Hawaiian Hawaii, Hawaiian um, you can change from 12 to 24 hour mode uh, and then also we do have a function we do have customers that want a temperature probe and that is here in temperature settings and then once you've changed those just hit change configuration so the bell schedule I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that I'm going to demonstrate it on the smaller one here since it's silent the other one the large DC 40 uh, has a horn connected to it they wanted a horn they wanted to hear it obviously outside uh, obviously this one's a NEMA enclosure it's a NEMA and 4x enclosure and this is aluminum all aluminum enclosure so this is the one I want to demonstrate the schedule so right now we have a 321 so if I put a bell in here for 322 322 uh, p.m. not 32 22 it's p.m. in the afternoon this is uh, Wednesday and I put in a bell and then I go down here at the bottom and hit submit and so it went ahead and recognized that this is the next bell so it's going to put this in for Wednesday so it moved it up chronological order and um, I didn't send it to it quick enough so I'm going to go ahead and change that to 23 p.m. Wednesday it's a bell I'm going to go ahead and push submit now once it gets to 323 um, it will ring that it will pull up the uh, and on light I think it's green maybe not and also it will pull up this relay a, a relay that's connected here this, so the relay is connected here and then contact closure here and then we have it uh, labeled here down here at the bottom what one two and three is and that's a 15 watt local a little 15 watt uh, relay contact closure so if you want to bring in something else you want to activate something else it could, it could happen at that time and that's a bell so the bells just for three seconds if you want to do a uh, another one that where you want it to stay on say I want it to stay on we'll do 24 here 324 on Wednesday and you want it to stay on for a minute and what we have is we just want it to be on so that you want these lights to stay on for a while and then you would have to put in an off too but I'm gonna go ahead and show you that and and when it goes to 324 it's going to stay on now locally we can change that um, and we did so on this one has a jumper or a dip switch that says mm -hmm. we do not accept any on or off so we just accept the ons and we default back to five seconds off just simply because it gives the customer control total control over both aspects when we remove the dip switch or turn it off and you have the on function it will stay on indefinitely until it sees an off and you would program that in also into your bell schedule so I'm gonna go back to home and it gives you the layout of, it gives you the feedback of what this specific clocks looks like on your site the time everything I'm gonna to go to I punched in um, the next one when I go to the next one I put in Newfoundland time so this one's on Newfoundland time and that's on Atlantic time and the same thing I can change it I can change it to Newfoundland and it does it right away and then gives me feedback here same spell schedule situation so I can add a bell here uh, I won't do it because it's got a horn and both of these are getting the NTP time from the small GPS server over here that is totally independent of network it 
does put your MTP time on the network, but it doesn't require uh, internet access to the outside world. Again, this is Jim with DC Digital, and I'm introducing this uh, this web page. Newfoundland time, Atlantic time, just shows you some of the things that we can do uh, here at DC Digital, some of the custom stuff that we can do, the pages, the web pages, the networking, all that can be done here at uh, DC Digital, along with the manufacturing of the clocks and also the uh, timers, the relays, the end on lights, the horns, um, all that. I forgot to mention that the, you need 120 volts to, required to uh, power this one, but we can do PO, PoE. The DC40, the big, the big boy, is a PoE clock, so everything is done over the Ethernet cable, power and data and whatnot. So, again, this is Jim with DC Digital, and thank you for watching.